Hello, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I am G1 Writer here with G1 Insights. Thank you, Leo, for your beautiful energy. I am doing your overall extended love focus, okay, for the month of September 2018. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you would like a personal reading, go to g1insights.org. So let's get started, Leo, okay? So... I feel like a lot of you are seeing love or the situation with the loved one for what it is, okay? Like, there's no going back. You guys are realizing the truth. You're realizing that you really do have feelings for this individual. You're realizing that you've been waiting a really long time for this moment, you know? For some of you anyway, okay? For some of you, you may not be so lucky, but for those of you that are, love is working in your favor. The universe is working love out in your favor, okay? Now, for some of you, even though your financial status may be a little rocky um, towards the end of September, it doesn't mean that your overall rest of the year won't be okay. I just feel like whatever it is, some type of situation is going to change your whole perspective on this individual and on your life, okay? Your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. So the energy that you are putting out there when it comes to love, okay, try to be generous. Try to respect yourself. Show love, you know, where love is a concern. Spread some compassion, okay? I just feel like this is a season for you to be honest with yourself. A lot of you want stability, but then you want to be free as well. Like you want to have that freedom, okay? A lot of you are dealing with, I see a lot of air energy here, okay? So for a lot of you, this could be about just simply just being honest, speaking your mind, you know, telling the truth about something. For a lot of you, you may be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or for some of you, maybe even an Aquarius, okay? Which is interesting because even in Aquarius reading, I talked about you. <laughs> so this is interesting. So if you have Leo as a sun, moon, and rising, or maybe you have Aquarius as your Venus, um, maybe you have Leo as your Venus, and maybe you are a Aquarius sun and rising, or, you know, I mean, I don't know, if you have any one of those signs in your birth chart, then this is for you, okay? Now, it looks like divine timing is at love you at work in your love life right now, but it seems like some type of situation is going to turn around, so just as quickly as something blow up and get crazy, you know, it's going to calm down right away. Like, it's not going to be like I'm depressed forever. Like, it's not going to be like that. Okay. There are some, is energy here or some type of signal here that, you know, your playful spirit will return. You will want to have more fun. You will want to go out again and to reconnect again, to have fun, to dance again. Okay. But I feel like a lot of you may still need some time recovering from whatever situation you were going through. For some of you, um, you may just need more time to spend alone, to meditate, to figure some more things out about yourself. I do see self-discovery here, but I also see truth. And I also see something is moving forward, okay? But I also see that you need to first focus on loving yourself. So even in love, you know, before you go out, trying to make a serious commitment with someone or trying to get this person to be equally committed to you, you need to focus on self-discovery, committing to yourself, you know, loving yourself first, respecting yourself. If you go into relationships where you don't necessarily respect yourself, then my love, you cannot expect these people to respect you, okay?
Nevertheless, I do see the Ace of Air here, okay? So the Ace of Air is a really beautiful energy, like it is. You know, when I think of the Ace of Swords, in traditional tarot deck, that's what it is, the Ace of Swords, right? So the Ace of Swords is really about a new opportunity, like something new coming your way. So this could be a new lover, a new relationship starting. Maybe you will leave a situation and get into another. I just feel like a lot of you are realizing your truth. You are speaking your truth. You are no longer accepting things that was basically oblivious to you. You are saying, look, I deserve more. I want more. I want better for myself, for my children, for my home, my family life, and I am no longer putting up with anything that does not resonate with me. So good for you, Leo, because that is exactly what looks like is happening in your love life, where you're taking your love life back. You're like, look, I've been putting up with your shit for the longest. I'm ready to get back to me. I'm ready to have some fun. I've been waiting for this moment forever. I am ready to go dancing again. I'm ready to fall back in love. Especially for those of you that have been single, this is a really good time for self-reflection, realizing that you do want love. You do want to date. So a lot of you, you may find yourself going on some dates again this season, okay? Going on a date, maybe two, maybe maybe three, <laughs> okay, but to me, three is a charm, okay, so I believe that if you finally get with like a third person, and you're like, oh my god, he's really great, he's really amazing, he makes me laugh, he's so sweet, you know, think of that good feeling, you know, don't go back to something that drains your energy, okay, don't go back to that. So it's like you guys are seeing the truth of a situation, Confusion is going to leave you. Clarity is now taking its place. A lot of you may say, you know what? This this job is not working for me anymore. You know, I'm ready to move on. You know, and your spouse, I mean, who knows? They may come in handy. They may end up getting a promotion in another environment, at another country, another state. And maybe they will want you to move with them. This could also be um, you guys just simply relocating, going somewhere new, um, really just kind of stepping outside of the box, okay? So good, exciting things happening, but it's going to be different. So it's not going to be like, you guys are like, I'm not staying at this job anymore. I'm pregnant now or I'm married now. You know, me and my husband want something greater. And for those of you that are men, a lot of you are really taking your masculinity back, okay? You are are really stepping up to the plate deciding that this is no longer the life that you want to live you want to be better you want to feel better okay so good for you leo but i do see that for a lot of you this is going to be a challenging beginning some of you may hear some type of news in the very beginning of the month um you know we are still going to be dealing with that pisces full moon energy from late august and Around that second week, we got that new moon in Virgo, so that's like yummy, right? Um, being very strong and critiquing every damn thing. So if you find yourself overanalyzing yourself or the way you do things in love, and um, if you feel like you're overanalyzing a particular situation, don't think too hard. You know, the universe is saying, you know, have fun with it. You know, if you feel like you want to relocate to another state, then do you. If you feel like this is not working for me anymore and you and your spouse decide to just go live life and have a wonderful time with each other, then you shall do it. You shall follow your heart, my love, okay? So that is what this is, okay? Whatever it is that you were waiting for in love, whether it was stability, you know, feeling just secure in that relationship or that marriage, whatever it was, dear love, you things have and are worth waiting for, okay? Divine is at work and divine timing is at work in your love life. And I also see the wheel card here. So I love the wheel card because it reminds me a lot of the world card where, you know, it represents the four elements, earth, wind, fire, and water, right? So this you know, Archangel Michael, it just shows me protection. It shows me that you guys are being protected from whatever um, 
Whatever it is that you wanted to do, you are going to be able to do just that, okay? If you wanted to take that house, you are going to get that house. If you wanted to relocate, you will be thinking about relocating. You will be looking for new homes. You will be looking for new jobs. You will be um, doing some research, you know? So even though you will go to work every single day, you are still going to be in the back of your mind, you know, wanting a new job, you know, wanting to do something better, a new experience, something more exciting. Maybe you're getting tired of looking at the same old people at your job. Maybe you just want something different, okay? So whatever this is, if it's not you, then it's definitely your spouse that is creating this type of energy where things are working out in your favor and you will be wanting to move, okay? Whether this is moving to a new job or a new home, maybe this is embracing something new, welcoming something new, um, something going on with your family, um, whatever it is, dear love, whatever that has been like a great concern for you lately, whether it has been money, no matter what it is, you and your spouse will find that everything is working out in you guys' favor, okay? So, yes, a situation that is moving forward. Something is moving forward. And in that time of spending time by yourself, you will find that you're okay with moving. You're okay with finding, like, a whole new job or a whole new career. You're okay with finding a whole new love. My husband always wants to walk out. In the middle of me recording something. Like, why is that? Then he leaves the door open for my son to scream and be all in the video. Like, I don't get it. So, this is... Sorry, guys. I'm just venting. Like, I don't get it. So, okay. This is really good for you, okay? Because I feel like you guys been waiting for this for a long time. Okay? So, congratulations to some of you that are considering to move in with your spouse or your spouse is moving in with you or maybe you guys are relocating somewhere and maybe you know it, it may feel a bit challenging you may feel like well I don't really want to lose my job I don't really want to you know lose this house but believe me guys there is a blessing in disguise okay something amazing is happening okay so you guys have to just understand that, that no matter what is happening, it's going to be okay. It's going to be a little nerve-wracking. It's going to be a little challenging at first, but it's actually going to work out for you, okay? So I know it's nerve-wracking. Trust me, I know. All right? Close that, please. So... Sorry, guys. So, there's always some type of distraction. Like, okay. So, I also have here some energy cards, okay? So, I'm going to do your overall love energy, okay? So, once again, congratulations to some of you that have some new things going on in your life. Whether you don't, I mean, I know some of you may not necessarily want to move. You may not want to um, get this new job or this new home. But I believe that it's going to actually work out for you. So go for it, okay? You and your spouse will be able to come up with some type of conclusion. Don't worry about it at all. Okay, so calling on Venus, the goddess of love, to please assist me with Leo, sun, moon, and rising. Overall love focus. Thank you for your beautiful energy, Leo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, this energy came off of Cancer, so I'm not sure, I think I should shuffle because I literally just did their energy, so I'm going to put this back because I'm not sure if that's you guys' issue or not, so let's just get some confirmation, okay, before we just totally choose that card, because it just literally came off of Cancer, and I don't want that energy to run over into your energy, now, if it comes out again, then we know something is up, okay? All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. For a lot of you, it seems like you are dealing with a woman that has a tendency to overthink every fucking thing, okay? Which, 
doesn't surprise me because look what just came out, Envy. Hmm. So, dear Leo, okay, the jealousy has to stop, okay? Like, that whole attachment thing, like, I see attachments, I see envy. Guys, you gotta let it go. Do not stay in a position just because you're jealous of what somebody else has, or just because you may be a little jealous or feeling insecure over someone else's situation. Do not stop your own blessing worrying about somebody else, okay? So, and I'm saying that because you guys got envy, you got attachment, and normally, I mean, this is a lot of, like, dynamic, like, serious energy here, okay? And I, we need to discuss this really quickly before we go. We need to discuss this, all right? Now, with the attachment card being here, let me just show you guys what this looked like. Hold on, can you guys see that? Okay. So... The attachment card is really what it is, holding on to old habits, being really negative, being jealous, you know, and I feel like a lot of you are in a, pro in a state of mind where you are working on all of this, you know, like, look, love yourself first, honey, it's a reason why the universe said that to you, okay, focus on self-discovery, why are you this way, when the attachment come out in reverse, this is a, just a really good reminder to let it go, you know, to not be afraid of the changes, not to be afraid of what's coming next, okay, so this is attachment to old old bad habits or patterns from people in the past you know maybe someone was very possessive or jealous over you or controlling over you maybe your parents were really strict or and I feel like a lot of you or maybe you witnessed your dad being overly protective to your mom and maybe now you're carrying that energy into your relationship okay either way there is Something hooked to you that is keeping you afraid and keeping you or making you feel like you just can't move on, okay? Something is keeping you at that job. Something is keeping you in that relationship. And you have to let it go. Let it go, okay? It's okay. If you quit or if you move on or if your spouse is saying, baby, we got the house, you know, and you're not really comfortable with it, whatever it is, dear love, even if it's pregnancy, whatever it is, you have to let the fears go. There are things that are keeping you stuck, and this could also be a physical addiction. This could be, you know, physical addictions include but not limited to um, alcohol, you know, drinking too much, arguing too much, sleeping all day, you know, maybe um, working all the time, not taking out time for your loved ones, you know. It could just be something really, like a really bad habit you need to let go of, okay? This can also be emotional issues that you won't let go of, okay? Um, even old relationships or old friendships that won't let you go or that you won't let go of. Are you living in fear? Are you living in the past? Are you addicted to old unhealthy habits, you know? Or are you that desperate about the future that you can't be happy now? You know, you have to let it go. The chains that are binding you could be your own mistake, dear love. You are stopping yourself from having the love of a lifetime because of your insecurities. This is telling you that it is time to take action or that you may need to break out for, or away from this unhealthy habit, dear love. You have to have courage, okay? And like I said, guys, this card came in reverse, so congratulations to a lot of you, like I said before, because it seems like a lot of you are doing this now. You are practicing that self-love, okay? You are saying, look, you know, this ain't about me, it ain't about nothing. I'm taking care of myself. I'm loving me more. I'm not allowing you to mistreat me. I'm not allowing you to put your hands on me. I'm not allowing you to degrade me in public. You know, I'm loving me. I'm not going to harass him or I'm not going to harass her. 
I'm not going to nag her and make her feel insecure or make her feel like she's not good enough for me. I'm not going to do that because he's wrong. And when you're too busy trying to hurt other people, it's because you're really the one hurting. Let go of old habits, dear love. And like I said, a lot of you are doing this, okay? Whatever old negative pattern or relationship or any type of desperate need to try to ruin someone's life or anything that is just toxic, dear love, you know, a lot of you, you know, it's like you're having a hard time letting go, but you're going to do it anyway, okay? So as you continue to let go, you will be able to establish new ways of doing things relating to yourself or to even others. The universe do not want you to be depressed. The universe does not want you to be unhappy, to be jealous of what everyone has. The universe does not want you to be that way. In fact, the universe wants to congrat congratulate you on your healthy new choices, to congratulate you on your new approach. But be sure to support the changes that you are making in your ongoing everyday choices and decisions. So if you feel like you and your spouse could talk more, if you feel like you guys have not been spending enough time with each other, if you feel like you have not been like the best, most supportive girlfriends, try to work on that, dear love, okay? You may need to continue releasing the old habits all the while honoring the new decisions and your thoughts and your actions and interactions with others. So even now that you are in the process of breaking those chains, you can walk away from things that hold you back. You can walk away from limiting attachments into a bright and unlimited future. So release attachments and choose peace. Be strong. Be free. Choose only that which honors you, dear love. Even in love, you do not have to be envious or jealous or overprotective or being nagging. Like, you don't have to do that. You don't have to behave this way, okay? Love yourself first. Because when you do, you won't need to feel like you have to control this individual, okay? Guys, I don't know if... For some of you, I just feel like a lot of you are dealing with an Aquarius person because I swear to heaven, guys, I felt this energy so crazy when I was doing Aquarius Love Focus. Guys, please check it out, please, okay? If you have Aquarius or if you are dealing with an Aquarius, please check this out, all right? Check their Love Focus out because it was very, very similar, trust me. Okay, so now, like I said, we have the Envy card, which, you know, like I said, Leo, it doesn't really surprise me. I mean, you are a Leo, and you do have a tendency to get crazy, so this does not really quite surprise me. It really doesn't, okay? But this is basically you just looking out at life. Hmm, how come everybody else has that? How come they get rewards? How come they're pregnant? How come she's having a baby? How come he's getting married? I want to get married. You know, it's like you're, a lot of you are being a real big fucking baby this season. <laughs> oh, boy, Leo. What are we going to do with you? It's like a lot of you are so blessed, but you are so busy looking at everybody else's life that you are not paying attention to your own life, Leo. You have a life of value already, but it's like you are ignoring the feeling of love and everything else that is around you. The universe is constantly blessing you with those that love you, that adore you, that appreciate you. But yet you're so busy looking at that big ass ring on her finger that you're not even focused on what's going on with you. Instead of feeling happy and fulfilled, your desires are more, are only causing more senses of like, I just feel like you guys are just being unappreciative in a sense, or like you are lacking or feeling a lack and dissatisfaction energy. 
So this is definitely telling you once again to just let it go, you know? And the fact that once again, it came out in reverse, just like the attachment card did. It came out in reverse. So for, once again, congratulations. Because for some of you, you understand this about yourself. That yeah, I do compare myself to people a lot. I should stop doing that. Maybe I'll be a little more fucking happy. Okay? Just because you see someone smiling doesn't mean they're happy, dear love. They could be just holding their sadness deep within. Just because you see someone with a great lover, it doesn't mean that he's not beating the shit out of her behind closed doors. You do not know what is going on in that person's life, but you want it so badly. Be careful what you pray for. Okay? Let it go. The jealousy, let go of uh, the, you know, the, uh, the possessiveness. Acknowledge your blessings and love. You already have a great life with this person. If you are single, great love is coming to you. You just don't know it yet. And so, of course, I expect you to feel a little insecure or, you know, uncertain and not being sure that things will work out for you. I get it. But now is the time to shift your focus. When you envy others, it only attracts more to them, not you, dear love. The more you are jealous of someone and the more you point the finger, the more the universe is going to say, okay, that is what you're focused on. Let me give it some more attention. Focus on your own love life, okay? Stop looking at people's relationships and thinking they must have it all because that is not necessarily always the truth. Thank the universe, dear love. This is definitely all about gratitude. So appreciating the one that you love. Showing them that you deeply care for them, that you love them, that you want the best for them. The jealousy, the competition in the relationship itself has to stop. So even if this is not you being envious of other people, this could be you being envious of your spouse, okay? Or your spouse being envious toward you. Your focus from future longing to present gratitude creates a significant difference in your energy field and moves out in a dramatic and radiant way to attract more to you. So you guys are coming to this place where you're no longer going to be like that, okay? Because you realize, look, I'm blessed. My man got his promotion. I'm about to move. I got everything going for myself. I, maybe I need to just get out and have more fun and learn to be a better friend. Let me be a better lover. Let me try to be more supportive. You know, instead of sitting around, pointing a finger, laughing, and, you know, acting like you're, you know, like they don't really have nothing or what they have is not a value because they, you don't have what they have. Like, don't be that way. It's really ridiculous. And I'm, I'm going to try to touch base on this as well. You know, I don't know. I just feel like the whole month of September is really about envy for you. And about you just moving past that. You know, no longer dealing with those old habits. And that is probably why you guys got self-discovery here too, okay? Self-discovery, my love. Now, you also got the thinking woman. And the thinking woman is really also about, you know, taking your time to think about things that you desire, things that you want to attract into your love life, you know, ways that you can be a more pleasing, understanding woman, okay? Now, this also came out in reverse, but I want to tell you that this can represent a new woman, or just a simp simple new love interest. This is someone who is thoughtful, conscious, and aware. So this is definitely can represent a side of you um, that is ready to blossom. Maybe bring more clarity into your world. You know? But this can also represent a difficult time. Because 
Like I said, it, it came out of reverse. And maybe you guys are working through this hard time. And that's probably why it's like you guys are releasing old habits and negative ways of thinking. This is all about personal growth. So you may be feeling confused about your personal purpose or, you know, your purpose of even dealing with this individual. Why are, Why am I even in their life if they don't want to love me? If they're not showing me the attention I deserve or, you know, if they're not going to answer my calls, like why even be with me? Why even be with me if you're not going to love me? This is about you wanting to know this person's heart. You want to know if they're being true to you. Just have a conversation, love. Have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Look within and open up to your own inner guidance. Trust your intuition about what you need to learn in, in order to move on. This can also be, if you're a Leo man, this can also be, you know, about a woman who can possibly be a bit misleading or giving you misinformation of some sort. So if you are in love and somebody is coming to you with rumors or things that they may have heard about your spouse, you know, or even if you are a Leo woman and you have heard a lot of different stories about this person, so it's making you feel like you can't really trust this person, you know, follow your own intuition. So once again, this is energy that's pointing towards focusing more on yourself and not others, okay? Focus on healing your own soul. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks, okay? So I love you, Leo. I really hope that this reading brought a lot more clarity into your life. I hope that it resonated with you, if not all of you. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for your overall energy. Have a great week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Bye.